Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Aranula in just under three minutes. Aranula is a mucus seal in the floor of the mouth, and in this photo, you can see a ranula here, which I'm just circling. So the term ranula derives from the Latin rana, which means frog. And you can see why when you see this frog's vocal sac here, you can see the distinct similarities that it had to the previous image that we looked at. A ranula describes a blue translucent swelling in the floor of the mouth. They're usually fluctuant and they're usually lateral to the midline. And in this photo, you can see the ranula here and you can see the midline here and you can see that it's lateral to that midline. This is quite useful because it helps to distinguish it from something like a dermoid cyst, which is usually in the midline. The lesions most often appear early in the patient's life, so in the first, second or third decade, but do remember that they can occur any time. Reported ranulas usually exist in association with oral mucoceles, and the fluid inside is like a jelly. And you can see here where a ranula has been drained, you've got this fluid that's a jelly-like substance. It's almost like an egg yolk substance when you crack the egg. So ranulas can be classified based on the site of presentation into oral, plunging or mixed lesions. Oral lesions are confined to the floor of the mouth, whereas the plunging lesions usually extend beyond the sublingual to submandibular space. Plunging ranulas occur less commonly than the oral form. Well, in terms of diagnosing the ranula, it's usually a clinical diagnosis. So, so when you see the patient in clinic, you'll typically diagnose the ranula. But if you do need imaging, something like an ultrasound scan or an MRI can be useful. So this is an ultrasound scan here, and you can see the ranula, which I'm outlining just in red here. In terms of management, well, if it's not causing the patient issues, you can opt to leave it alone and you can deploy conservative management. However, a variety of surgical approaches exist in the treatment of ranulas, including marsupialization, excision and removal of the sublingual gland. And you can see that here, there's a variety of operative approaches. You need to be careful of the lingual nerve, which is running by, and also there's the submandibular duct in the region. In terms of complications, well, you can get infection, you can also get trauma, bursting and reforming of the ranula, and also dysphagia with a large ranula. I hope that was helpful. So in this video, we've covered what is the ranula. We've also discussed that it's derived from the Latin word rana, meaning frog. We've discussed what it looks like, also when it occurs, so early in the patient's life, what the fluid inside is like, how they're classified into oral, plunging or mixed lesions, and the oral are the most common, imaging options, mainly ultrasound scan or MRI, and management of the ranula. If you've liked the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel, and um, leave a comment in the comments section below, I'll try to get back to you, and also share the video with your friends and colleagues. Thanks again for watching and I hope it was helpful.